next up. So now that we've seen all of this new gear that we want to earn, uh, there's all sorts of questions. Uh, how do I get that stuff? What level will that stuff be? How do I infuse that stuff? So we need to answer those questions. And uh, Brenton, as somebody who uh, you know, is uh, a resident expert on how investment and progression works, uh, I guess my first question would be, uh, how do I get the Taken Armor? How do I get the new Spectar line? So the Taken Armor and the Spectar line are both available in the Sterling Treasure. The Sterling Treasure box? Yes. OK. And where do I get that? So you get that um, from a few different places. If you want to go take a look at your Postmaster, okay. that's one of them. All right. Uh, another place you get it is when you complete the level 41 Prison of Elders, the new match made activity. Mm -hmm. And from your first completion of the weekly Crucible activity. Okay. Not to be confused with the weekly Crucible bounty, which no. is pretty intensive and takes a lot of blood and sweat. Uh, there's the weekly featured activity. Yep, right on the uh, top level of the director. Mm -hmm. Take a look uh, and you hop right in. Bottom left corner, it's listed right there. Yep, play a round of control or whatever it might be, and you're going to get your sterling treasure. Okay, gifted to me along with some legendary marks on the completion of my first game. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so um, before I collect this, I'm actually going to preview the contents. So here's yeah. my sterling treasure box. You can see here that I have a guaranteed item. So I'm definitely going to get one of these. Yep. Okay, and uh, so these are... The desolate items. Yes. This, what, this is what will enable me to look like a Taken Guardian. Mm -hmm. And uh, these look like vanity uh, items. Yes. They're... These all drop at level three? Yes. Okay. And then moving on to the Specter items, uh, what we've been calling inside Bungie the Chroma Gear. So all of these pieces of armor, I'm, I'm kind of reminded of uh, Sparrow Racing League, mm -hmm. where Very we smart. had cool, fun armor that we were providing through, Ev uh, through Eververse, but they dropped at level three, but I could infuse them up if I truly loved them and I could wear them in combat. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that's the similar idea here, huh? Okay. And then uh, I also have in each box one of these possible items. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look. Uh, so we've got the... Uh, well, I've got the Spectre Bond as well as class items for every class of Guardian. And then uh, Vanguard Reputation Booster. Looks like we got three of these. Talk to me yes, about these. That increases the reputation you gain from uh, strikes with the Vanguard, from Crucible activities with the Crucible, and from Prison of Elders with the House of Judgment. Okay. And on, in addition to that, we've also dramatically increased the amount of reputation you're gaining from. Uh, crucible matches, from strike completion, from mm -hmm. patrol missions. Okay. So you're going to be getting uh, these faction rank up packages far more frequently than you've ever got them. Before. And the faction rank up packages are what uh, are going to be the source of the faction armor that we just looked at yes. during our little fashion All show. of the uh, chroma enabled faction armor that we've been showing off is going to be available in these faction packages, mm -hmm. okay. not on the faction vendors. Okay, cool. And uh, let's take a look. We've got some. Uh, some fun new ships. Oh, yeah. And this ship, check it out. This ship has been takenized. Takenated. Takenated. Takenified? <laughs> Tooken. <laughs> Tooken? It's been, my ship has been tooken. There we go. Tooken ships. You heard it here first. So that comes out of the uh, Sterling Treasure Box. Uh, yep. As well as some other ships. We've got a Sparrow that we'll take a look at. We're going to go on a little patrol here. And this is Chroma. Yes. So uh, this is uh, a new material that we have that we're adding to your inventories in Destiny, and we've got the four units right there. So there's a possibility that I will get Chroma from the box itself. Where else can I get Chroma? Uh, the Sterling Treasure box is the only place that you get Chroma. Okay. But if you uh, dismantle one of the Chroma armor that you get from the box, mm -hmm. that will also turn into Chroma. Okay. So this, uh, this, you can barely see it ghosted in the inventory there, but uh, I have uh, yellow chroma on this armor. I have yellow chroma on that armor. So if, uh, I, down, if I break down the armor, do I know what chroma am I going to get, or is it random? It's going to be random. It's going to be random. Yeah. Okay, cool. Keep me guessing. All right. So that is uh, what could be in this box. Let's find out what is actually in the box. I'm actually going to collect both of these. And uh, where can I find them? So they're going to be in your inventory in the consumable section. Okay. Look at that, my HUD's been disabled. Mm -hmm. 
Friendly reminder. <laughs> Friendly reminder that your husband disabled. Please don't panic. Your ammunition is still there. So I have 12 uh, sterling treasure boxes. So imagine a world post-April update. Uh, I've been making my appearances in the Tower of the Reef once a week. I've been playing my level 41 match mm -hmm. made Prison of Elders. I've been playing the weekly Crucible activities. Yep. I can start to open these boxes. This is a lot of fun, so let's enjoy this. Go. There you go. And I have blue chroma mm -hmm. and a brand new Spectar Hood. Spectar Hood. Cool. So uh, I'm going to take a look at my new hood. And uh, I'm wearing the Dead Orbit helmet right now. I'm going to equip. Now that drops down my power level. Yes. Because this is uh, a level three item. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I think it's totally groovy. I'm going to come in here and. Uh, so you should probably infuse that. You think? Yeah. I'd okay. So. We'll do that first. But I'm not sure how much you're going to get. Let's see. Okay. So let's. Uh, uh, you know what? I'm going to. I'm going to keep that. Uh, I think I will dismantle this one. Yep. And um, it's going to cost me uh, a little bit, but it's all worth it. Now I have a, a level three thirty helmet going into a level three item. What do you think I'm? What do you think I'm going to get here? It went, now that we're splitting the difference. I don't have my calculator with me. Uh, one ninety eight. Uh, when, when we place your bets, 198, you think? Uh, 200. 200? Okay, I'm going to say I'm, I'm going to get like 175 because I'm just not a lucky person by nature. And oh. look mm. at that, it's 330. Yep. All right, so, you know, all theatrics aside, talk to us about what you've done here. So now items that you infuse give light or defense attack one for one. Mm -hmm. So we're basically taking, we're basically taking the stronger item and taking its attributes and using them to overwrite the weaker item. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're stomping, if you will. No more mm -hmm. tiny little steps. You just you get what you put in. OK. And uh, now we'll take a look at uh, the white chroma node that I have here. Yep. So this costs me one unit of chroma. I have 30 units of white chroma. Mm -hmm. And um, I kind of liked the blue Dead Orbit Warlock. I thought right. that complemented the armor uh, set nicely. What do you think? The blue looks beautiful with Dead Orbit. Okay. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. So if uh, I'm going to just, I'll, I'll activate this just so that we can see it. And it's like, yeah, that's cool. That's fly. But uh, Dead Orbit is so monochromatic all the time, it would be nice to uh, have a different color. So how do I go about doing that? So rather than having to wait and try and get another helmet, mm -hmm. Uh, we actually have this reroll node okay. that is right beneath the chroma node, and that randomly reselects what chroma node is there. But okay. you lose any chroma that you've put in. Okay. So, so I uh, just spent one unit of white chroma to make my helmet look like that. Yes. I will be sacrificing that unit of white chroma that I won from my treasure box acquired weeks ago. Yep. I don't get that back. Uh, but in terms of rerolling this, this is going to cost me 100 glimmer. Yep, mm -hmm. a little bit of glimmer. But I'm not going to lose any of this progress. No, nope, you could. If I've upgraded this helmet, if I've unlocked all these nodes, uh, the, the progress in leveling up the gear stays. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, and then I get to keep these attributes, because this is really what people look at. And when you say, you know, we don't want you to throw away a helmet you like in order to customize it. We don't want you to wait like, God, I wish I had a blue helmet with this much intellect, you know, and, mm -hmm. and, yep. and 36, 37 disciplines. So I just come down here, and I'm going to hit this. All right, so it's randomized. Yep. So now this helmet could be yellow. I hit it again. Yellow I get again. yellow again. Red. Now I get red. I get red again. And now I get blue. Yep. Oh, yeah. And I have 32 units of blue chroma. I apply this to the helmet. And now I am the guardian of my own personal dreams. Good looking. Good looking stuff. OK. So you have got a lot of new gear for us to earn. Yes. Got, uh, I understand there's also uh, some interesting new weapons. We've got the taken shotgun, for instance, that was uh -huh. on the backs of our guardians. Uh, I've got a lot of gear that I like. I, I still have Shadow Price, which is my favorite year one legendary auto rifle. Yep, uh, what, where am I going to put all this new stuff? Uh, the vault. Well, here. Here's the problem I'm having. So I approach my vault. Uh, these are all my favorite year one legendaries and exotics. I tab over, 
Uh, this is all my RAID gear. This is mm -hmm. all the stuff I want. And uh, wait a minute. Page two of oh, three. Page right. two of three. Nice. All right, so this is where the fun begins. I have a new vault space tab uh, for weapons, armor, and general items. Let's take a look at what is in my brand new vault tab. Ooh. There's your shadow and price. And there's my shadow price, but it is level 330 attack. Yes, we so, have brought back some old favorites. Some old favorites. Let's check them out. So this will be, this will be mine. I mean, uh, my, my somewhere... In a distant vault, my Soros regime is is turning green with envy because I love the Shadow Price, and if it's a level 330 gun, I'm going into Iron Banner with this iron. This is going to be nice. What else we got? My favorite. Badger CCL is your favorite? Yeah. Okay, so that's new. Uh, and, these, and these weapons, you know, we have them here uh, in the vault as 330, uh, but if I'm playing the right activities and I'm getting 330 gear, 335 gear, Using the same infusion system, I can rank these weapons up to 335? That's correct. Okay. Yep. So many paths lead to 335. We'll talk mm -hmm. about that in a, in a few minutes. But uh, for the time being, let's, take out, let's check out what else we got. Uh, Lord High Fixer. Grim Citizen 3. That's my first legendary. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, that was, that was a nice gun. I used that uh, before I acquired the Shadow Price. So Grim Citizen 3. Uh, these, uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that one, but I remember using that in the, uh, in the dark below, I believe. We've got the devil you know. Uh, I did have the swarm until mm -hmm. uh, I discovered deviant gravity A, courtesy of Dead Orbit. Oh, I'm still getting killed by zombie apocalypse. Still getting killed by the crucible. zombie? Yep. Yeah, the zombie apocalypse was definitely uh, a popular gun. Uh, the LDR 5001 sniper, the longbow synthesis sniper, two to the morgue shotgun, and the Comedian Shotgun, uh, which I think probably still has the best piece of flavor text <laughs> of any weapon in the Destiny arsenal. And uh, then we get into some of the different weapons that the Reef is providing us with. Mm -hmm. I'm actually yes. going to uh, I'm actually going to grab this one. And uh, how can we get these, uh, these, these Reef armaments? So these are given when you turn in your scorecard from the uh, Challenge of Elders. Okay. Those are the, the high score. Cool. Awesome. Okay. Uh, so, let's see, we've got the Postmaster giving us a treasure box every week. We've got new vault space to mm -hmm. store all of the weapons that we can go out and get. Uh, so those um, year one legendaries that you've brought back, where can, I get, where can I find that stuff? Is that just going to be on the vendors in the tower? Am I going to go get the shadow price for the same place I got the shadow price originally? So those are going to be in legendary engrams throughout okay. the, okay. the game. Uh, but they are not weapons that I can go up to a shelf and just purchase? I don't believe so. Okay, no. okay. So get your engrams. Get those legendary engrams. All right, so let's come here to Eververse. Uh, now that we have uh, new uh, fashions on display, of course... Uh, Tess and the gang is not going to be left out of the action. Uh, the first thing that jumps out is uh, if I'm not satisfied with the rate at which I'm acquiring these treasure boxes, uh, Shax will give me one every week, yep. Varix will give me one every week, the Postmaster will give me one every week. If I'm just not a patient person, and I'm not, I can go in here and I can help myself to these as often as I would like. Yes. And uh, as we can see, the items that we're uh, acquiring here from Eververse are uh, strictly vanity, so we will still have to get our own infusion fodder to make these items mm -hmm. tactically viable, if you will. Looking good. And then uh, we had mentioned before, the, uh, the Taken Emote works with any type of armor set, but yes. in order to acquire it, you I You have need... to have the full desolate set. Okay, so I can't even get this. Uh, there is no price tag on it, but I can't nope. even get this until I have all of the pieces of the Taken armor, the Desolute line, mm -hmm. if you will, for that specific class. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay, cool. And uh, then it's mine for free. I'm kind of reminded of the uh, Sparrow Racing Gear had its own perk set. So when I had all of the official Eververse trading, the official League gear, and I put it all together, then it had the... Yeah, uh, those cool lights down the yeah, side. Yeah, 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 the blinking indicators. Okay, let's see what else Tess has. Uh, I'm going to preview these. Uh, just give you a little glimpse at two... So we can go clubbing.
So it looks like we uh, had a little bit of fun on our mocap stage again. Talk to us uh, a little bit about how these emotes are created, because I've heard that it's, it can be a blend of motion capture as well as painstaking handcrafted animation. Yes. I mean, uh, a lot of times motion capture is a base, mm -hmm. and then the animators will go back in and keyframe over the top of it to give it the extra emphasis and style it needs. Um, and the emotes are an awesome system to let the animators express themselves. As well as the players. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so much of what we do in Destiny, especially if we're in the tower or if we're in social spaces, is uh, nonverbal communication. Yep. So true. Mind blown! Or amazed in this case. Uh, these are, this is another fun partner emote. Yep, find a ring somewhere. <laughs> yeah. See, what you need to do is you need to find like a cliff or a spire. <laughs> bye bye. And uh, almost done, but I have to assume our chat audience wants to see the different ways in which they can praise each other. Or even just be like, man, I don't know. I don't know. How do we do this? How do we beat this raid boss? I don't know. That's a, that's, I think that's really the counter for any sumo move right there. It's just a yeah, swift kick to the unstoppable face. Unstoppable move. And then finally, <laughs> I do not recommend this. I do not recommend that we be rude to our fellow gamers, but it's the internet, it's, man. It's all in good fun. <laughs> yeah, it's, all in good, it's all in good fun. And then uh, if uh, we want last year's fashions, if I want sparrows, if I want horns, if I want the, uh, the SRL stuff that we enjoyed last December, uh, you've bundled all of this into different boxes, and uh, I can pull that stuff out. 